for chapter 23, section 1, part A, covering series circuits. A series circuit is a circuit in which there's only a single path, only a single current. In the next screencast, we'll talk about the alternative, which is the parallel circuit that has more than one path. As you read this unit, keep an eye on the terms series circuit and parallel circuit and the term equivalent resistance. One simple way to think about a circuit is to think about the river model. You can think of the flow of the water is like the current in a circuit. And remember, current is driven by voltage, or in this case, water flows over the waterfall because the river drops, which is similar to the book calls potential difference. But remember, we're using the term voltage or voltage drop. So you can think of it as, as the water flows down, it loses energy. That energy is like voltage, which is energy per charge. A simple series circuit is one where things are hooked up one after the other in one big loop. When there's only one loop, there will only be one current. And since both the bulbs in this example have the same current, they will have the same brightness. Here's a picture, here's a schematic now, instead of a picture, of a series circuit consisting of a voltage source, a battery, source of energy, and two resistors. And what they want you to see is that in a series circuit where there's only one loop, the current is the same. Doesn't matter where you measure the current. Think of it as water in a pipe. But you also know that, well, something gets used up in a circuit. Something makes the battery run out. So if the current's not changing in the circuit, what is changing? And the answer is, as the current, which is the flow of charges, passes through the resistor, each charge gives its energy to the resistor. And remember, Energy per charge is voltage. So you can think about this as a charge pump, a battery pushes the charges up a certain number of volts, and then as they come down, they lose those volts as they give energy to the resistors. For example, if you came up a 10 volt battery and these two resistors were equal, you'd come down five volts through each one of the resistors. Now, a very important concept when we analyze circuits is the idea called equivalent resistance. The equivalent resistance is what one resistor could you replace all the resistors in the circuit with such that the same current would flow out of the battery. In that way, the battery can't tell the difference. So we say it's connected to an equivalent resistance. In a series circuit, the equivalent resistance is simply the sum of all the resistors. Now I want you to pay particular attention. Notice in the equivalent resistor gets greater as you add any single resistor since it's the sum of resistors. The more resistors in a circuit, the larger the equivalent resistance. Now, just a reminder, why do we bother finding that equivalent resistance, this capital R here? And the reason is, is once we know the equivalent resistance of the circuit and the voltage on the battery, the source, we can use Ohm's law to calculate the one current that flows through the entire circuit. 